All right, everybody, got an unboxing video for you here today. Uh, another one from a uh, buddy of the channel, uh, Limp Wick. I bought one Zippo off him, and he obviously seen it was me buying it, and uh, we had a few emails. He ended up throwing in a bunch of extras, so I have no idea what he threw in here. Uh, this is a genuine unboxing. I've never opened this, so I don't know what's in here, and uh, we're going to find out. Let's see here. Hold on, let me put the knife down. Okay, we got air packing. We got this. I don't know what this is. I cannot see it. We got, poof, there's a ton of stuff in here. Okay, there seems to be a lot of Zippos in here. I ordered one Zippo from him. <laughs> I love when that happens. Uh, so we'll just move this box here. And let's see what we got. Uh, he sent me a bunch of stuff. We got our card from our boy, Limpwick Collectibles. He is the Canadian Connection. He wrote a thing on here. Includes. Oh, I don't want to read it because I don't want to spoil what's in here. <laughs> uh, don't worry. I didn't get to see it. You guys might have read it and seen it. I did not. I'm going to continue going on. So let's see here. We got a freebie. We got Junkers. Okay, so let's... Uh... Let's open up the junkers first. Let's see what we got. All right, so the first one. Oh. What do we got here, Zippo? Oh, this was a Niagara Falls one. No. Ruined. Oh. A Niagara Falls one crushed. He probably got it crushed in a forklift. There's got to be something I can do with this. I don't know what yet, guys. This seems really sharp bent, too. I don't know. The bottom stamp is almost fine, though. Like, if I can just squeeze that out, I'll have to put a whole new lid on it because the lid is torn. Uh, I could use it for parts, the hinge, or something. I don't know. I could do something with this. I'm not going to dwell on it too long right now. I'll let the... Uh... I'll let the brain work later. But a Niagara Falls, man, crushed by forklift. Ah, oh, that's a, a, that's heartbreaking, man. That's heartbreaking. Irreplaceable, right? When you see that? Okay, Junkers. Let's see what uh, Limpwick considers Junkers. Edwin, Japan. Oh, cool. One of the older Japan ones, too. This is definitely one of the older ones. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, that'll be something fun to do with on the channel. Oh, Ronson. Nice. Ronson Wind. Oh. Oh. No way. Look at that insert. Oh, I can't remember what year these are from. But these are really cool, man. I'm going to fix that. Oh, no. I can't fix that. There's not even the hinge there. Now, I wonder, does that insert fit in a Zippo? Is that the same size as a Zippo? No, I don't think it is. Limp Wick sending in the cool stuff. So, okay, so what I need to do is I need to take a hinge off a broken Zippo this one <laughs> I need to weld it back on to this I need to clean this up a bit this you can tell works no problem it's just a regular insert it's just cool shape oh man I really like that shape dude I am uh, I'm thinking a lot of things in my brain right now seeing this cool insert okay all right so that was another one from limp wick man thanks a lot limp wick really appreciate that dude i love seeing this cool new stuff man that is so cool there uh oh the hinge is in it it fell out i didn't see that okay so the hinge is there oh and it's in good condition it's just got to be re-welded good news guys good news good good news and that will be a video like see how cool limp wick is now that'll be a video everybody wants to watch who wouldn't want to see how to re-weld the hinge back on? Uh, 
this is really interesting and guys i'm uh i'm in love with the simplicity of this insert uh i have to tell you because like uh i remember we were talking about making my own inserts uh in a video and uh seeing this this would be a lot easier to make and a lot cleaner looking it looks cool too really like that uh in the works definitely something in the works so those are the two junkers from and this is the freebie this is what he this is what he threw in for free i don't even know what it is okay so it's anywhere between a 67 and a 87 or 86 let's see what the insert tells us insert tells us it is a late 70s nice uh it's a late 70s because there's sorry i didn't explain why it's a late 70s it's late 70s because there's printing on both sides and it's got the squared off cam right there uh significant with the late 70s so that's pretty cool brush brass uh oh it's got initials on it it's got initial oh, that's a really tight hinge too huh i like that a little bit of an overbite not a big deal i could fix that uh Oh, good. It's only in the chrome, too. If I polish that chrome off, this would just be a regular brass lighter. I really like that, too. PJH. Who's PJH? Maybe it was someone famous. Some famous Canadian hockey player or something. And then this is the one I actually bought. He, he threw in all this stuff. This is something I actually bought. So here we go. Uh, and there is a surprise too. I didn't want to open it because it's not a zippo or anything like that, but it said collectible on the package right there. You can see it a little bit. I don't know what it is. I want to save it for last. So stick around guys. Uh, we will find out together. Oh, this is nicely wrapped. I didn't rip it in the right spot. So I'm opening it like a dummy here. Huh? Okay. All right. So this is a really good shape. Uh, this was a high polish chrome. Uh, Niagara Falls. This is a 1998 H August. Uh, so this is two years older than my son. This would have been his birthday zip. Oh, wow. Uh, so that's why I always say I like the high polished chrome because you get that good look and you get the scratches over the years yourself. I really like that. Uh, that's my favorite thing about it. Uh, this is a really cool zip. Oh, this is the one I wanted. This is the one I ordered. Uh, I'm really impressed with that. <laughs> And uh, let's see what the insert looks like. Okay, yeah. January from a different year. Not a big deal. The inserts don't matter, but it is a Niagara Falls. It's got a red flint in there. You can see the. it's a, like a Bic flint with a red coating on it. Huh. So that's pretty sweet. And... Uh, Look at that hinge. No play on that. Barely little play. That hinge is in mint condition. The inside of that case is amazing. Uh, very clean. Uh, if you've seen my other unboxing videos, even the steel on this is still very high polish. Very good shape, man. This lighter was barely used. It was used. Someone did enjoy it uh, for a period of time. Uh, the cam's really good on it. Uh, everything seems to be going really well. I really like this Zippo. It's probably just going to be a put away. Uh, that's what I ordered it for. But I figured this, uh, you know, late 70s one, I'd probably, you know, do some custom work to make it one of my custom Niagara Falls. So now with that all being said and out of the way, we have one more. We have one more package to finally open here. Uh, I, like I said, I don't know what this is. I'm going to try to be very gentle with it because I do not want to break it. It seems very light. It seems very light. And, uh, what is this? Collector's Display Flames. I've never heard of one of these. That's cool. Uh, website, uh, Rose Art Lighters. Email address, owners, roseartlighters.com. Uh, Gifts of Lifetime Elegance, Rose Art Co. Bradford, Pennsylvania. Lincoln Ave, Bradford, Pennsylvania. Huh. 2004 under license from zippo manufacturing huh. uh so i guess this just comes out i'm not going to open it but i guess this comes out just sticks in your chimney and uh, makes it look lit that's uh pretty cool oh wow man so thanks a lot for that limp wick uh, you didn't have to do any of that stuff man and everyone i if i highly urge you 
If you see anything from Limpwick on eBay or anything like that, he's a good guy to buy from. Always fair prices. Uh, I've never had an issue of any of his prices. It's always good to deal with. He's great to talk to. He responds very fast. Uh, this package got to me very fast from when I ordered it too. Uh, but I also do live in the same province he does, so I understand that. But uh, And he's always good. So go check him out. Limpwick. Here's his card. Uh, he gave me all this extra stuff, cool videos to come, uh, cool projects, uh, cool collector items that I wanted. And uh, like I said, I only bought one Zippo from him, and this is this is what he gave me. So uh, shout out to Limpwick. Thank you very much, bro. Uh, we'll be seeing more from you, more unboxing videos from you. Like I said, I'm always looking at his stuff, and uh, he's always got good deals, so I'm always buying. So that's the way it is. All right, so thanks, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.